Mr. Angry is one of the first Codemasters releases. I think it's in the first three of the games they put out. And in fact, it is a re-release of Stringer by Addictive. And it's Commodore 64 only. The plot of the game is you are a photojournalist and you have to get all the bits you need and then photograph a lady who is located on the top floor of the hotel and not, say, Gordon K. recovering in a hospital. You know who you were. But we're looking at the Codemasters release. It is the same game, except it's been renamed on the loading screen and the title screen. So there I am. I look like uh, Inspector Cluso in the Pink Panther. And I have to run around the hotel and just find my camera, my photo bulb, my press pass, and the key to the room. You open the doors, and you can leave them open or you can close them afterwards. It doesn't seem to make a difference. And there's three people running after you to try and stop you. Because although apparently you need a press blast to get into the room, um, these people are still kind of running after you. And, oh, then they catch you and throw you out of the hotel, as they should. If you lose a life, you lose all your items and you start again. The items will move around, so it re-randomizes it. And again, you just have to find all the bits you need. The lady is always located in the top left and she just sits there uncrossing and crossing her legs. Years before Sharon Stone was a thing. There's the camera. So I've got the camera and the key, but I still need the flash bulb and the press pass, even though I've managed to get access to the room. So no, you can't do anything yet. There is more to collect. You've got to be very careful not to get trapped because you, you, can, you can, even on level one here, your only way out of not getting trapped is basically that, that, that little safe spot in the middle at the top there's no music there is just spot effects and big large graphics as i mentioned earlier there's no other version it's just on the c64 which is a blessed relief for me this week because i don't know what order these are going out but i've just spent well over a week capturing and reviewing shadow of the beast of course multiple formats so it's nice to be just on one one format for a much more simple enjoyable game i love the way he holds onto his hat when he jumps very large cartoony graphics but you can spend a lot of time running around there is a deadline time counting down the entire time at the bottom and there we go that is screen one complete Screen 2, very similar setup, except there's now two large jumps at the top to go across, and you have to get that precisely correct. It is easier to leave those doors open if you can, just so you can see where you've been. I don't think it makes the people trying to catch you aware of where you are. They just always seem to kind of crowd in on you. If they see you, they run towards you, otherwise they just randomly run around. There we go, screen two complete. And the name of the game, Mr. Angry, in the re-release, is because behind one of these doors, Mr. Angry lurks. Hello, Steve. And he will become an additional person who chases you. And that can be irritating because you need to get away from him pretty quickly as soon as you open the door on him. We've got some platforms moving up and down on this level. So you just stand in position and you go up. Don't try and jump onto them or drop onto the platforms. You will die. You will also fall off ladders if you drop off as much as one rung or if you try to jump onto them. It's a little bit of a flaw in the game. It's too annoying with the climbing and the jumping and too easy to die. The 
down we go. On that ladder there, I've got the key. The, oh, you see, you see, tiny drop and you are dead. The game starts uh, as a default on level three, which means there's three people running after you. But you can turn the difficulty down if you wish. And frankly, even already it's getting... Oh, you can jump past them, but if there's someone else behind or you touch them when you've landed, that's it. So back we are on screen three. I've just got to fit further through. I think I've got everything. Have I got everything? Flashbulb, key, pass, and the camera. I mean, why the camera's been discreet secreted around the hotel, I don't know. I think that top gap is marginally too far to jump across. And there we go. And you press fire and you take your photograph of your lady crossing and uncrossing her legs. Nice. Some of the descriptions of this game, I don't know where the instructions, for, if this is just something someone's made up. They say online, some of the reviews say, you are a man who enjoys photographing ladies for your own pleasure, which clearly isn't what the game is. You're clearly some kind of tabloid journalist running around a hotel. Oh, there's a flashbulb there. And it reminds you of Chucky Egg and games like that, those single screen. Oh. A lot of the game is trying to work out where those bounties are going to go and what they're going to do, so you, your path is always clear and you've always got an escape route. You'll also notice it refers to two players at the top. It's alternate. Oh, I've fallen. It, it re refers to alternate plays. You're not. You don't have two people running around. Oh no! It's Mr. Angry. Do. Oh. There we go. Photographed her. That is level four. Got to be on to level five, and it's now got really, really hard because you've got all these different things going on. Oh, can I get out of the way in time? I'm safe once I'm on the lift. What kind of a hotel is this with these kind of platform lifts? Oh, just looking, just looking. There's the key. He's gone past the key there. There's the key. Oh, Mr. Angry's going to get me. Jump. None of the baddies can jump. That is one advantage. Certainly on the levels I've played. There's the camera. So I now just need the flashbulb. Where's the flashbulb? Oh, it's going to be down there somewhere. And now I have to get onto that. How am I going to do this? Jump over there. The flashbulb. Oh, Mr. Angry's got me. Mr. Angry, it's a fun budget re-release okay at the full original price you'd be going hmm yes not quite as much here as chucky egg and that difficulty level really does ramp up quickly it has large cartoon style graphics and fairly decent gameplay you just have to watch out your escape routes at all times i can see why some people like this and why some people don't R reviews at the time were mixed eight out of ten from cmbg one out of five from your 64 and 42 percent from zap but commodore user gave it four out of five and it's that kind of slightly marmite game i guess because of that difficulty level because of the fact it can feel unfair when you're trapped when there's no way out however i'm reviewing this as a re-release not a full price game and as the codemasters version it's good value for money for 199 certainly get more play out of it than some of the other early codemasters release and I found those large cartoon style graphics particularly evocative of a certain era of C64 gaming. I quite enjoyed it.